In this segment, we're going to take a look at how to install the TCPIP protocol suite on a Windows 2000 professional machine. I begin by going to My Network Places and right-clicking on it. I'm going to select Properties. That will bring me up to the Network and Dial-Up Connection box. I'm going to right-click on the Local Area Connection. Select Properties. And if this happened to be an NT4 machine, I would right-click on Network Neighborhood, and it would take me directly to this box when I selected Properties. I wouldn't have this intermediate step. The reason Windows 2000 put this here is it allows you to configure both modems as well as local area connections. Now, I look under here, the General tab, and I notice I have a protocol, the NetBuoy protocol, and I have some services as well. But I like to add an additional protocol. So I'm going to click on the Install button. I want to install a protocol. I double clicked it, or I could have clicked it once and simply came down and clicked Add. It has the choices that I can install. I'm going to choose TCPIP. I click on it once, I click OK. Okay, it's now put it in place. Let's click Close to complete it. Okay, everything's bound. Now, if we want to go back in and make any configuration changes, we simply right click, go Properties, and we can click on it, select Properties. Now, by default, it's set up to use our DHCP server, so it's obtaining an IP address automatically, and also it's obtaining the DNS server address automatically. If I wish to change this, I can simply click here, and I can type our IP address in. I click the tab button, and it brought up our subnet mask, but this is a default subnet mask. If I was doing any kind of subnetting, I could change it here, the default gateway my DNS server. If I had an alternate DNS server, I could put it here. I can click on the Advanced button. This has my IP settings. I can add additional IP addresses here. The DNS server, I can change information here. I can configure a Win server from this location. And I can work with some of my options, such as the IP security and the TCP IP filter. I click OK. It's telling me that the primary Win server address is empty, and that's OK. I wish to continue. If I had a Win server on this network, I would go at this time and add it, but since I don't, I'm just going to go ahead and say yes, I want to continue. Click OK again. OK again. And now our TCP IP protocol stack is installed and configured and ready to run.